Hello and welcome to Frank's School. Uh, maybe you can hear the rain outside. Uh, it's in the basement. It's hitting some plastic back there. Well, uh, I've, I've spent the last two or three days talking about the memories that, uh, that Pedro or Peter uh, Quintran had. Uh, now I want to go back to uh, Chausset's Mill uh, and pick up where I left off. I, I had Before this I had uh, talked about the, the restored mill that's been made into a hotel or a, or a hostel. Uh, well, <clears throat> when we, we, we only spent one, one night there, and then, uh, and, and even when we arrived, uh, even when we arrived, we didn't waste that day. We got in a car, and, and I wanted to see if I could find the mill, uh, drive, not, not walk to it, because there really wasn't time, but see if I could drive to it. And so uh, this next video I, I call the road search uh, for Chaussee's Mill, and we came across a, a church uh, in the process. Well, uh, or I could call this closing in on, on Chaussee's Mill. Uh, <clears throat> well, that botanical garden that we had found out about uh, at uh, the uh, Moulin de Pena, that, the, uh, that hotel, <laughs> well, it went almost to Chaussee's Mill. I, I don't know how many kilometers it, it was. I think it says on the sign. But when we found the church, which had been within sight of the mill last year when I was there with my daughter Erica. In her video you could see that church and I was fascinated by how close it was to the mill. And when we got to the church, here we found a parking lot uh, and a big sign for the botanical garden. Well this was the end of the botanical garden so in theory you could walk along the river the whole way to that church and then go back or, or, or have somebody pick you up uh, at that end. Uh, and so you'll see me filming the, the, the map of it and, and I'm puzzled, still trying to locate exactly where Chaussee's Mill is in the woods because on Google Earth you, you really just can't see it. Uh, what's needed is contour lines, that would help a lot. Uh, but I have not found a way yet to get contour lines on, online that I can see to place that mill. It's in, in quite a deep uh, gorge. Uh, but there are contour lines on the sign. When you're looking at the sign, I don't comment about it, and I don't think I even noticed it at, at the time. But when I was reviewing the video to put online, I looked down the bottom, and there are the contour lines going in, in, the, in the background. They were left on there. Also, so much was so, so artistically made, so well made about everything I saw about that botanical garden and the, the restored mill. Uh, so anyway, at the bottom right-hand side, you can see it there. Um, and I did want to say that Chaussee's Mill, really, it already is a garden. Uh, it has been wild for so long that, you know, it's, it's kind of a matter of it's grown into a garden. And, and, and how then to reveal it or restore it or make it usable again without destroying the, the garden? I think the plant is laurel that must have stems that big around coming uh, across the, uh, the, 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 uh, the stream. Well, there's a large house that I was not aware of uh, by the, the church, and I was struck by it as we were driving around. Boo, there it was. I asked Jose later about that, and he said, well, that was the priest's house, and it was in ruins, but the roof is still on it. And I think there's real potential there uh, to get a... Uh, you know, I, well, I haven't had too much luck so far in putting a, a team together to, to go work on this stuff. But that would be so worthy, I think, and, and so doable to restore that large house. I mean, he, he said the priest was rich or something, and it belongs to the Catholic Church, and, and they don't sell things like that, but sometimes they restore them for the purpose of pilgrims or uh, a, a hostel. I, I don't know. Anyway, you'll, you'll see it, and, and uh, perhaps there's more to, to find out about that large house. Uh, it's also visible on Google Earth. Uh, I won't do that today. I think I'll do that maybe tomorrow, uh, give you the, the numbers where if you want to actually look and see exactly where this is on Google Earth, you could. Um, and then the, the relationship. Uh, one of the reasons I drove around like this was because I'm interested in the relationship of the, that church uh, to Chaussee's Mill. It's the closest building to the mill, but the roads are, you can't see the roads anymore, the old roads. But 
But they're there. They, they could be found. They could be reopened. And not only to the church, but also to the community. Now, I've learned, uh-oh, two cats. Uh, this is Roger, and this is Boots. Uh, Roger's a kitten. Um, Galicia has been losing, the, the countryside has been losing population. Uh, these villages are gradually becoming deserted, I, I believe, because there's better work to be found elsewhere. And, and so I suspect not only that mill, but the area around it is gradually being deserted. Uh, I'd love to see that reversed, um, and I think maybe someday <coughs> it will be. Well, uh, that's it for today. Oh, I wanted to point out I'm back in my rags. Uh, oh, here we go. There we go. This, this cat's kind of coming to life. This one I can hold. This one I can hold. Well, I can hold the other one, too. All right, uh, we'll see you tomorrow.